ABC 17 Sports Zone Football Friday, sponsored by Harper Evans Wade and Nettemeyer, starts now. What is up, everyone? Welcome into week one of Sports Zone Football Friday. I am Sports Director Natalie Jones alongside Chanel Porter. Natalie, there's just something about those Friday night lights flicking on that gives us all that good feeling. We have some good stuff to get to tonight, including former Mizzou football player Jonah Dubinsky taking the field for his second season as the head coach of Battle. That's right. Let's get to those highlights. Battle coming out with the energy against Park Hill tonight. We love to see it early into this one. Spartans back to punt, but it's blocked by the Trojans. The ball is on the loose. Battle jumps on top of it. It's loose again, and Demarion Garthright is going to take it in for six. What a way to start this game. 7-0 Park Hill on top. Battle looking for a response here. You can see it on Jonah Dubinsky's face, and they'll get one. Justin Goolsby rolling out. Look at the spiral. And Daquan Wright snags it. Touchdown, Spartans. A 73-yard, yes, sir, stomp in that end zone. Miss PAT in battle trails 7-6. to six. Gotta have the energy. Nearing the end of the first quarter now, 28-6. to six. This time, Goolsby, I'm gonna handle it myself. Just running 18 yards for the keeper. But battle does fall tonight, 68 to 38. Well, just across town, Cedric Alvis and the Hickman Cupies in action against North Kansas City tonight. That man's fifth season on the sideline. Second quarter, 7-0 KC, but the Cupes doing a good job holding them off. Look at AJ Busey with the stop. Yes, sir. Just seconds later, trying to hold them off. These guys are looking for him. They're asking him to hold them off, but you can't. Look at this. Rolling out, hits Chase Porter over the middle for the second TD of the game. 14-0 Hornets. Opportunity time, though. Donovan Taylor blocks North KC's punt. Now look at that. Hornets do jump on top of it, but a penalty gives the Cubes the ball. They're in the red zone, but it's fumbled and recovered by the Hornets. North KC shuts out Hickman, 28-0. Chanel, take it away. Next up, the Warrensburg Tigers travel to Capital City to take on the Cavaliers. First possession of the game, Warrensburg quarterback Kobe Westfall drops back. The pass is intercepted by Matthew Wagan, who takes it back to the house to give the Cavs a 6-0 first quarter lead. Started good. The turnover. Bug would bite Capital City later in the first quarter. However, as this pitch play ended with the ball on the ground recovered by Gavin Wynn, Warrensburg was able to capitalize off the Capital City turnover as wide receiver Cole Chrysler takes it. The direct snap to the house for the touchdown. Seconds left in the first quarter. This gave Warrensburg an early 7-6 lead. Cap City wins it, however, 24-14. And in the first game of the year for the Southern Boone Eagles as they welcome the Odessa Bulldogs for the first game of the season. Picking it up in the second quarter, down to score Southern Boone running back Jacob Bowles. Trying to get his team going, breaking multiple tackles on that catch there. Odessa had its foot on the gas pedal, though. Later in the second quarter, Odessa quarterback Diaran Doran drops a dime Woo! right in the break basket of Caleb Osborne, who lets the defender know. Later in the drive, everyone on the field rolling left besides Zane Palmer. He's driving open. it into the end zone for the score to put the Bulldogs up 26 to 14 right before halftime. Well, Elias made the trip out to Hannibal tonight. Always a tough matchup when you make it down to see the Pirates. Early into this one, Sanders out of the gate hot. Watch this. A huge kickoff return. It's not going to end for a minute. He's off to the races. He got through all those Pirates. He's still going. But wait, in comes Mizzou offered Aeneas Williams, stripping him at the goal line. 
He has an offer from the Tigers for a reason, folks. It's still Sater Ball, though. He's asking why. Doesn't matter. It's still I'm Sater Ball. I'm asking why, too. <laughs> Brady Rush punches it in for the touchdown. Sater's up big, and Elias wins a big one, 31-21. to Scoreboard now. Rockbridge falls short tonight, 34-17. Blair Oaks squeezes it out against Maryville, 54-42. Jefferson City goes big over Osage, 41-19. Camdenton shuts out Rolla, 45-0. Eldon beats Fulton, 47-20. Smith Cotton takes an insane game over Moberly, 22-21. What a game that was. We'll have more highlights coming up after this break. Earn a 30-cent high V fuel saver. For every $60 you spend, that's a 30 cent fuel saver this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Don't miss Fuel Frenzy Weekend. Options. But what about inventory? We've got the most Chevys to choose from. Really? Yeah. And we've got them in Lynn and Centralia. Okay, I'm convinced. There's simply no reason to buy your Chevy anywhere else. And that's why... Jim Butler is the Chevy powerhouse. Are you looking for an exciting career? If so, then we're looking for you. Hitachi Energy is hiring full-time hourly team members at our Jeff City location with an average starting rate of $21 to $25 per hour. Full-time hires are eligible for benefits starting day one. Hitachi Energy is now offering a $3,000 phase sign-on bonus with experience. An exciting career is waiting for you, so don't wait. Apply online today at HitachiEnergy.com slash career. At Capital Region Medical Center, community means coming together for a healthier tomorrow. We believe in community, and we believe in you. As the only dedicated cardiovascular treatment center in the area, we're here for soft hearts, sweet hearts, and strong hearts. And we'll keep expanding our services and offering top cardiologists to improve your care. For the care you need now and always, Capital Region Medical Center is here. I'm Marissa Holloway, and I'm back in mid-Missouri. I reported on the stories that really mattered to you when I was at ABC 17 News years ago. And now this community means more to me than ever as I raise my young family here. I am so proud to be a part of the ABC 17 News team again. From the minute you wake up in the morning to the minute you go to bed at night, our crews are out there holding people accountable, asking the right questions, and getting you the information you need to make informed decisions about your life. Coming back to this community this time as a mother has given me a new perspective on the issues that matter here. We all want to go to bed at night feeling safe. We want to send our kids to safe schools. We want to make sure that the trash is being picked up, that the lights are working. I'm ready to dig in again and show you what's going on in your community and what can be done to make it better. Marissa Hollowood returns to ABC 17 News September 7th. Earn a 30 cent high V fuel saver for every $60 you spend. That's a 30 cent fuel saver. This Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Don't miss Fuel Frenzy Weekend. We're the Hallsville Cheerleaders, and you're watching ABC 17 Sports Zone Football Friday. Welcome back, guys. Got to say the cheerleaders all killed it tonight. Thank you, guys for helping us out. The big matchups across mid-Missouri continue tonight in Hallsville as head coach Justin Conyers is opening up the same team as they did one season ago. This is always an interesting matchup. Palmyra, a good team. Justin Conyers has done a heck of a job turning around this program. So many straight district titles. Looking for another one this year. Well, there was definitely a <laughs> lot of people there. It was a packed house up in Hallsville tonight as the Palmyra Panthers were in town. But this Indian team is a lot different than what they faced last year. The Indians come running out and they're starting off hot. 
First drive of the game is quarterback keeper. Colton Nichols dodges a few and gets into the end zone for the first score of the season. Fist bumps all around after that one. A quick three and out for the Panthers. The ball's back in Nichols' hands. He's off to the races again. Down the sidelines, a foot race for this one. You can't get him down. Tackle they eventually did. short of the goal line. <laughs> Nichols feeling good after that, but it's time to share the ball a little bit. A flip back to gouge Harbison, and he takes it to the end zone, making it 12-0 in the first quarter. The Indian tribe in the stands ready for some more, and here it is, the rollout from Nichols. Up in the low grab from Landon Seavers. Is that a Hallsville. play of the week nominee? It has to be. <laughs> Hallsville wins this one 58 to 20. Well, moving on, the Boonville Pirates took on the Pleasant Hill Roosters tonight at Boonville. I love the Roosters. Nothing what like a great mascot. <laughs> First drive of the game, a handoff up the middle from Rooster quarterback Easton Rowe to Dylan Kaufman, making it 7-0. Pleasant Hill took an early lead, and it didn't take long for the Pirates to respond, though. A huge pass. Look at that. Colby Caton connecting with Dakota Troost. A little piece, <laughs> little piece, man. I appreciate that. Into the end zone for a touchdown. Pleasant Hill gets it back without skipping a beat, though. A quick pass here over the top to Mason Hicks. Quickly, ooh, spinning into the end zone. Got them back in the lead, and the Roosters do end up taking this one 47 to 14. Up in Mexico tonight, we have another Panther, this time from Centralia, kicking off the season on the road against the Bulldogs. Anthony Shivers gets it in the backfield, but it's not staying back there. Dodging tackles left and right, turning it into high gear. That wasn't even a race. <laughs> into the end zone, he blew them all out, 13 to 12. Bulldogs. Panthers turn with the ball, the drop back. Over to the sideline, it's Ethan Adams hanging on to it. Mexico is going to end up getting this stop. The Rock back in the hands. Over the middle of Matt McCurvey. That was a grab. Nicely done. Centralia closes this one out 26 to 21. Scoreboard now. Savannah closes it out against California, 47 to 34. South Callaway, look at that. Beats Van Far, 44-22. North Callaway shutting out West Rand tonight, 28 nothing shutout. Herman wins it over Montgomery County, 25 to 13. Russellville dominates Missouri Military Academy, 49 to six. And look at this, St. James cruises to a win against Salem, 42 nothing. Well, the Father Tolton Trailblazers are coming into this season with a young and hungry team, but with the most players that this program has ever had on the roster. That's definitely quite an accomplishment. Michael Agnew has really built this program up over the last five seasons. We're loving to see the progress here for the Tolton Trailblazers. Blazers made the trip out to Salisbury tonight. Very first possession of the game. Hurry up offense on the goal line. They're going to punch it right in. 7-0 lead out of the gates. Big play there later on. Check this one out. What a play by wide receiver James Lee in the Wildcat formation. He's taking it himself. Breaks all the tackles. Like, to the 80, house. like 80 tackles, Chanel. <laughs> <laughs> Almost 80. Tolton wins a close one in this one. Squeezes it out 27-26. to 26. Now heading out to Harrisburg with, look at that. A gorgeous sunset. Shout out to our photographer, Alec, for that one. Second half action, Harrisburg up eight to six. It needs a big play, gets one here. Anthony Alisea finds Braden Wyatt. Look at this, major yards after the catch there. Throwing some men around before finally getting down for a first down. A lot of fans out there tonight. A couple plays later, Trace Combs throws the ball to Austin Darwin, look at that, a beautiful pass right there. for the touchdown, making the score 14-6 in favor of the Bulldogs' celebration. We love to see that. He would, They would fail to convert two points after Bulldogs try to keep loose as several players with some muscle cramps in this game. It was some hot weather, I understand. Later, the Bulldogs bringing out the defense and a big one for Caden Becca gets it in the backfield and whips the line back down just as he got the ball. Harrisburg off to another great start this season. Look at that, 22 to 14 over Kabul. Fayette made the trip out to Carrollton tonight, coming off an 11 win season last year. First quarter, Falcons back in the shotgun. Heaves it up and look at it. Chase Allen Jackman hauling it in, six nothing Fayette. Trojans respond later on the goal line. Parker Minnick dives for the end zone, tie game. 
Fayette wins it 14 to 6. Owensville shuts out Cuba 50 to nothing. Cole Camp dominates Wellington Napoleon 20, 36 to 7. Knob Noster beats for sales 26 to 6. Chillicothe goes big over Marshall 42 to 7. Slater wins 38 to 14. Monroe City shows out over Mark Twain 48 to 8. And last but not least, Tipton leads 42 to nothing in the fourth quarter. Let's take a little bit of a deep breath yeah, here. Week a one <laughs> Week in one. the books. We have some great games out there tonight. Thank you for all tagging along with us. We're going to have a bit more after the break, though, so be sure to stick with us.